Hello, I am here with Allie Hutchinson, Senior Tax Accountant for Staffing and Consulting. And Allie has just finished the Resilient Transformation Academy with some pretty incredible results. And Allie, I'm so happy that you're here. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to do this and um, get to talk about everything that I learned and how I've grown over the last few months. So I really appreciate you having me on. You have had some remarkable changes inside this program. And so for those that are listening, can you share a little bit about what you were facing before you came into the Resilient Academy and maybe why you were desiring to take this academy? Yes, of course. Um, so before I started this academy, I feel like I was in a really um, just not a good place mentally. I was feeling so much stress and anxiety and I would just would wake up every day with just anxiety, like all over. Not, like I could not think of a positive thought. I know we always talk about, I've never woken up on a Monday happy. And that was like me to a T. I just dreaded work. I dreaded the days. Um, and so some of my goals coming in was just to feel more at peace and not have this like ugly green monster of stress on me at all times. Um, and just wake up happy. And then another one was to become the best version of myself. I kind of looked in the mirror um, and I graduated college about four years ago. And I just remember graduating college and envisioning my life four years later. And I was just not on the track that I wanted to be on. I wasn't close to achieving my goals. Um, and I just wasn't proud of the path I was on and the person I was becoming. Um, and then lastly, just to not immediately think the worst case scenario, to not think of the worst thought possible. If something somewhat challenging was coming my way, I immediately just did not want to deal with it. I did not want to even start the process of trying to think of it in a positive light. Um, but I can happily say that that's all changed. Um, and I think that those three things alone, not even touching on everything else, has made my like the biggest impact on my life and like just completely um, turned my life around. And I'm just so happy about it. Wow. Allie, give me an idea of what your level of anxiety was on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst. How bad was your anxiety? Um, probably about a nine. It was, it was really, really bad. A nine. And then you had a lot of those negative internal thoughts and thinking about the worst case scenario. How often did that happen? Was that like constant throughout the day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Almost 24 seven. And I have a lot of health anxiety especially like with my heart and like my breathing, um, which I think is one of the reasons this was so beneficial because getting my whole body in balance and getting in coherence and telling myself I, I, my body is healthy, my brain is healthy, I am okay, like was just like momentous for me to truly believe. Wow, you, you really did some incredible work in this academy. And may I ask what you had tried before in the past to fix these challenges? Yes. Yeah, so. Um, I've tried, I never really tried too hard to fix them. I just kind of thought I was in my head and I would just kind of get on myself and get frustrated with myself. Be like, don't think like that. Like kind of insinuating that my thoughts weren't valid. Um, and then I would just try, you know, little fixes here and there. I tried to wake up and journal for like a week. I tried to eat healthy and then I would try to work out, but work out, working out would also caused me more anxiety. Like with my increased heart rate and breathing heavily, I would convince myself that something was wrong. So that never lasted. It was just like these little fixes. I never really like put in the work. Um, and I think that's why I was stuck for so long. Wow. So you were stuck for a long time. You were living in a level nine anxiety. You were waking up feeling anxious and having these negative internal thoughts. And so can you describe a little bit about what has changed for you? Like, how do you wake up now? Do you have those negative thoughts? Do you have anxiety? What specifically has changed? I want to say everything has changed. I just, I wake up and I'm in a good mood and I'm happy to be alive. And I just feel so blessed. And I find so much more to like look forward to in life. Like before I'd be so anxious to go to a dinner or go to a concert. I would think about it for weeks. And how, what if I have a panic attack when I'm there? Um, what if I get there and I want to leave and I can't just those like reoccurring thoughts that I had to break. And now when I get invited to something like that, I'm genuinely excited. And if I'm sick or my body like feels different and that used to be a source of anxiety, I'm able to be like, okay, take a step back. You are okay. You are healthy. 
good things happen to you, you are going to be fine. And so I just, I feel like life has never been this good and I'm choosing to make things fun and easy. I went to a workout class by myself for the first time halfway through this program and now I can't stop going. It's just, it's, I, I can't even explain how happy I am um, and how blessed I feel. I feel like a completely different person. <laughs> Wow, Allie, that that is just so remarkable. And it just sounds like you did this work from the inside out. You said mm-hmm. that you tried diets and exercise and journaling yeah. <laughs> to give you the results that you wanted. So we always talk about how we're cha- we change from the inside out. So can you share a little bit more about what did you do internally to have this happy life and to get over the anxiety mm-hmm. of the internal dialogue? Um, a lot of positive self-talk, a lot of um, rewiring my brain. So when I think that negative thought, immediately shutting it down, stopping. I always tell everyone I talk to, taking a step back and kind of like looking at myself, why am I thinking this and how can I overcome it? How can I correct it? Um, a lot of getting in coherence. A lot of times before I fall asleep, I just lay in bed and I just breathe and I think of my happy place. Um And I also set my intentions a lot for the day too. I wake up and I'm like, what do I want to get out of this day? How can I make this day the best day possible? And if there's something in my day that I just deep down know I don't want to do, I set my intentions of how I'm going to do it, how I'm going to feel after it's done and how I'm going to reward myself. So if I have a really tough meeting in the middle of the day, I'm going to go do a fun workout class or go get dinner with my friends. It's just little things like that that are making me excited Maybe not for the task itself, but for how I'm going to feel when it's done. Wow. You sounds like Mm -hmm. you really have command and mastery of your own thoughts, your own feelings, and the state that we call coherence, which means the brain and the body are in sync and harmonized and balanced. Mm -hmm. So would you say that you've become pretty masterful at navigating what's happening (laughs) inside of your brain and body? Um, I think so. I had a therapist tell me one time that I just, me personally, I don't feel comfortable inside my body, like the way my brain works and the way that I act when I was telling her, she was like, I would say the biggest goal for you was trying to feel comfortable in your own body. But she like, didn't give me any ways to do that. And I'm like, okay, that's a really, that's a really good thought, but you're not giving me any actions. Um, And I've been anxious since I was probably about five years old. I've dealt with this for so long and I can comfortably say now, this is the first time I feel comfortable in my body, comfortable in my own head. Um, And I I literally could like tear up thinking about it because I suffered from panic attacks for so long and I haven't had one in so long. Um, And I haven't had to get on anxiety medicine, which doctors have been telling me to do forever. And I'm just, I'm so happy and like proud of myself um, for that alone. And I'm just, I'm finally comfortable in my own head and it it is the best feeling in the world. Allie, I'm tearing up here. I know, (laughs) it makes me so happy. And I feel like people are noticing too. Well, I know for a fact people are noticing, but like my family, my friends, they're like, I just feel like you're you're the best version of yourself right now. Um, and I'm like, I, that just means it means so much to me. And it's so good to hear. Uh, but I feel like I am too. And I, it's so it's so great that people can see it like radiating from me too. And you are radiating. You're radiating from the inside out. And <laughs> thank you. Beautiful, beautiful journey. And being able to control your thoughts and being able to turn off the anxiety at will when you feel it coming on and being able to prep for your day. Mm-hmm. How is that translated into your work? How is it? How are you working differently? I am I in a couple ways. I am working a lot better because I'm not stressed. When I would get stressed, I know stress is beneficial for some people. There isn't all it's not all bad stress, as you said. Um, but that was not the case for me. Stress was never beneficial for me. And when I was stressed, I couldn't see the big picture. I would like focus on one little thing and get stuck on it. So if I had five things to do, it was just it would take me twice as long to get them done. Now I'm much more efficient. I'm much better at planning out my days. I'm getting things done earlier. And I'm more confident too in my work. I'm confident when I give, um, when I have to lead meetings or I have to give presentations, two things that used to cause me a lot of stress. I'm doing it just much more gracefully. And I think it's because of the pride and confidence I have in what I'm doing and how I'm feeling. And um, I'm up for a promotion, which is so exciting. That's something, one of my goals when I came in, I was like, I just want to advance my career. And I am because, and my boss says all the time that over the last year, I've just, I've grown as an employee and she trusts me. um, And it just, it really means a lot. 
Wow, it sounds like you have a completely different career and life trajectory after learning these tools and techniques. A hundred percent. And I tell everyone about them. <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm telling my boss and we have to get in coherence. We have to take deep breaths. We have to be as efficient as possible. And she loves it. So it's great. I'm the biggest advocate for this program. <laughs> So beautiful, Ali, and thank you for sharing that. And so it's really impacted your work. How has it impacted your personal life? Yes, yeah, so um, I am newly engaged. So it is definitely a very fun and exciting time, but also a very stressful time. Um, and when I am in anxiety and in the stress, I'm not the most enjoyable person to be around, as most of us are. So I feel like it's just benefited my personal relationship with my fiance, my personal relationship with my friends, um, and with things like wedding planning. Like I'm in the middle of tax season, which is notoriously just a really tough time. And on top of that, planning a wedding. And I can I can't imagine if I didn't do this course and was trying to do both of those things at the same time. But I, I love it. I'm not stressed. I, I find the excitement and the joy in the little things. And um, I just, I'm having, I'm having fun in March, which I haven't had in four years working in public accounting. And I just, I'm, I'm joyful all the time and happy. And I feel like my relationships are growing stronger and deeper because my, my mind can focus on something else except for myself. I'm not selfish because I'm not, bundled up in my own anxieties anymore. Wow. What a beautiful transformation, Allie. And what yeah. a great time of, of life being newly engaged and planning a wedding and up for a promotion. And it's mm -hmm. just such a beautiful place right now. And congratulations for all of that. Thank and you. Ask you, how are you going to use this moving forward? I am happy that I did it when I did in my twenties, because I, no, it's setting me up for just such a fulfilling life. And I'm going to use this forever and ever and continue telling everyone how it's the best thing I've ever done. Um, I know life throws a lot of curveballs at you. And for example, the craziest thing earlier this year, or actually last year, my house got broken into, for example. So crazy, crazy curveball, so stressful. I was terrified. Um, and I walked through it with Julie. I couldn't sleep in my house for a week. I walked through it with Julie and it completely shifted my mindset. And I was able to finally fall asleep and feel safe and convince myself, not convinced, but believe that good things happen to me. I am safe. I am in control. Um, and that was like my worst fear. So if I can overcome that, I think I can overcome anything, no matter what happens, um, by using these techniques, it applies to every aspect of life and it, and it is life-changing. So if I can overcome what I overcame in the past few months, then I know I can overcome anything. So beautiful. And I remember the breaking happened while you were sleeping, the person yes. while you were sleeping. And I can, mm -hmm. I can remember how terrified you were. And we talk a lot about when we go through a traumatic experience, how that trauma can get lodged in the body and it, mm -hmm. happen, it could reactivate if we don't work it work through it in our body so would you say that after experiencing your worst fear it actually did happen to you while you were sleeping in bed were you able to reset your nervous system and shift out of the trauma knowing that now you're safe and mm -hmm. that you're not going to be triggered by this in the future yes a hundred percent because i it had happened a few days before we had spoken and I was I was like I know I'm safe it was it turned out to be an accident an accident but it still happened and I still had this feeling every time I would try to fall asleep that it was going to happen again or that next time it happened it would be worse um and those thoughts just kept running rampant in my head and I was I don't know why I feel like this because it was an accident it most likely will not happen again but my body just wouldn't believe that um and so by resetting my nervous system getting in coherence, telling myself that I am safe. That's, that's the only thing that, that helps. And I, I don't think I have P or I know I don't have PTSD from it anymore. I fall asleep soundly every night. I feel safe. Wow. It, and it, it's, it's a beautiful thing. How long did that take you to rewire the brain and the nervous system to where you felt safe again? It took definitely a few weeks of work. 
it got a little bit better every single day, but it, it wasn't an immediate change just because of how severe my like physical reaction was. Um, so it definitely took some time, but that was last August and I am a hundred percent today. Wow. <laughs> Where do you think you would be had you not learned these techniques? I would be living in a constant state of fight or flight. I, my anxiety would be off the charts. I would not be excelling personally. I would not be excelling at work. I wouldn't, I think I would be stuck in my house and just, I probably would be on anxiety medicine and just in my head constantly. Well, Ali, this is a true testament to you doing the work and practicing it and continuing to practice. And it sounds like these are techniques that you're going to use for the rest of your life, anytime, anywhere, no matter what scenario comes up. Mm -hmm. A hundred percent. And it's they all thanks to you, Julie. Um, you have just been such a great guide and role model through this whole thing. Um, and I know I'm not the only one that can say that you have truly changed my life. Um, and for that, I'll always be grateful. Wow. Well, you're making me tear up. <laughs> People may be seeing this on the screen that we have the same last name. <laughs> Allie is actually my niece. Yep. <laughs> no greater joy than to see a family member transcend anxiety and negative internal dialogue and have the life of her dreams, getting ready to marry the man of her dreams and have a new trajectory in life that is going to take you to levels that you may have never dreamt possible. Mm -hmm. So it, it's been my absolute pleasure to work with you in this academy. And I will tell you that you showed up and you did the work and you practiced and you transformed your relationship to yourself, your relationship to anxiety, your, your relationship with those negative internal dialogues to now being positive and being able to really soar to new heights in new ways. And so I just want to say congratulations and I just can't wait to see where you're going to be in another five years from now. I know. Me too. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, Allie. Thank you so much. And thank you for sharing your story. Of course. Thank you again for having me and for everything. You're very welcome.